President Joe Biden signs four executive actions with the goal of advancing racial justice and equality. The White House says systemic racism and discrimination have put the promise of America out of reach for too many families of color. White House correspondent Owen Jensen reports. Owen. Tracy, good evening to you. Today, President Joe Biden signed, issued executive orders he says will advance fair housing, end the use of private prisons, strengthen the U.S. relationship with tribal nations, and combat xenophobia against Asian Americans. We're all God's children. We should treat each other as we would like to be treated ourselves. At the White House this afternoon, President Joe Biden signing orders he believes will help improve equality for all. Just imagine, instead of denying millions of young entrepreneurs the ability to access capital, we made it possible to take their dream to market, create jobs, reinvest in their own communities. Does anyone doubt this whole nation wouldn't be better off? Earlier, White House domestic policy advisor Susan Rice, leading the effort, went before reporters in the briefing room and made this promise. We'll hold the federal government accountable for advancing equity for families across America. She adds, for too many families. Systemic racism and inequality in our economy, laws and institutions, still put the American dream far out of reach. Also today, Janet Yellen was sworn in as the first female Treasury Secretary by the first female Vice President. So help me God. Congratulations, Madam Secretary. Congratulations, Vice President. Janet Yellen faces a nation desperately trying to get back to business. But troubles with COVID-19 vaccine rollouts and the spread of new variants of coronavirus are among the immediate hurdles blocking the road to recovery. The president and his team have been working around the clock over the past six days to make meaningful progress on vaccinating as many people as possible. Also today, President Joe Biden spoke by phone with Russian President Vladimir Putin. Among the things they discussed, the new START nuclear treaty, the poisoning of opposition figure Alexei Navalny, a massive cyber espionage campaign, and reports of bounties on American troops in Afghanistan. At the White House, Owen Jensen, EWTN News Nightly.